Um, it's my first day out on the Continental Divide Trail. Started in um, Lima, Montana. Uh, got a ride out about 9.20 with the local establishment. And uh, we've been walking this ridge line here most of the day. We're at about mile, uh, I don't know, 11 or so, 12 maybe. And uh, this is a, a very gentle portion. It's been very um, steep up and down, uh, like 1,000 feet per mile steep in, se in sections. And uh, so it's made my uh, 800 foot uh, elevation and heart pump and my lungs pant but uh, it's dry it's a little warm but the breeze is uh, nice making a warm breeze and uh, it sure beats that uh, humidity I was hiking in back in Pennsylvania Maryland and uh, oh by the way that's uh, Wallace out there he's uh, we've been hiking together most of the day and uh, anyway this is sort of uh, this is sort of a taste of the trail uh, in Idaho uh, real quick some really cool mountains over here to my right it's August 9th that's my third day out here and uh, I'm walking up towards this uh, interesting uh, cirque of mountains and uh, I don't know I guess I'm gonna hike out of there somehow and uh, I'm gonna bet it's gonna be a little bit of work but uh, you see the clouds clouds forming it's just before noon it seems to happen every day out here um, about this time it's a beautiful day well looks like uh, might be in for some storm this afternoon I don't think it's a matter of if it's just a matter of when It's the morning of uh, my fourth day, and I'm so glad to see this blue sky this morning. After the emergency uh, tent set up last night, got pretty wet before I got in there, and then I had another hard shower last night. It lasted for probably an hour or so. The trails are washed out this morning, and uh, most of my stuff dried out last night, and uh, the sun's feeling great right now. Somewhere down there is Harkness Lake, where I spent the night last night. And I did climb up to this divide. Got a little bit screwed up down there. The uh, trail crossed the creek and there was nothing on the other side but tall grass and lost the trail for a while and had to bushwhack for about 20 minutes till I got back on it, but uh, got up here no problem. Kind of still beautiful. Not such a bad place to be. I just climbed up that valley. This is my view. I love the one over here to my left. And I'm walking up across this ridge to that saddle and then down over the other side. So the official elevation from this point is 9,942 feet. And this pipe here is marking the Idaho Montana border. We're looking at Idaho. And Montana's behind me. Well, this is my fifth day, and uh, I'm headed towards the Bannock Pass to try and get into Lador, Idaho. And I'm up at about 9,500 feet, and uh, got a little bit of a fog situation <laughs> going on. But uh, clear behind me, I, yesterday this burned off, so uh, I'm hoping that's going to be the same today. This is the view from Elk Mountain. It's about 10,100 feet. And uh, there's the bitter roots over there in the distance in Idaho. And there's plenty of storm clouds. Rain spit on me a little bit on the way up. And uh, 
I'm headed into it, so uh, I would imagine that's the direction I'm going. I would imagine I'm gonna get some moisture. Well, this is kind of a first for me, but um, I've taken refuge in these uh, pine trees because there's a serious storm over Bannock Pass where I'm headed. And uh, I know I'm going to get hammered, and it's about probably seven miles yet. And uh, I can just see the inevitable. So uh, I thought um, with the direction of the wind, I might be able to sit out here out of the wind and under these trees and uh, maybe give it an hour or so and uh, see if um, see if it blows by. Um, we'll see. Worth a try. Got a little bit of a window here, so I'm going for it. That's what's up ahead, but I'm really headed over that way where it's broken up, so. Uh, windy right now but uh, I think it's gonna be okay I've forgotten what day it is, but it sure is a pretty day today. This is just one of the nice saddles that we've got to. A lot of this beautiful forest walking this morning. All right, so Gut Hook says there's a lot of climbing coming up, so. I'm guessing I'm either going to go up that draw to the left or maybe over that pass to the right. But either way, it looks like it's going to be a little bit of work. I'm almost at the top of today's big climb, just over 9,000 feet. And really pretty climb up here passing four lakes this is the last one before the pass the ones below are called rock island lakes probably because of the island on the other side of the saddle it's really vast over here big drainage down to my right sort of reminds me of the sierras it's my 10th day on the trail, August 16th, and uh, hiking along this ridge, to this, along this valley, really pretty. Trail's one of these rocky. And this is what you can see from the other side of the ridge that I just walked over across this saddle. Pretty cool mountains out there in a the distance. It's my 11th day on the trail. It's August 17th. Uh, you can see the trail down there on that ridge. Came up across there and down over in that canyon is uh, Big Hole Pass where I spent the night last night. And uh, making my way to Darby today.